So the mid-season um, cliffhanger saw um, Elena find a picture of uh, Catherine. How's Stefan going to kind of talk his way out of this one? Well, I can't tell you that because that's after. <laughs> that's after the episodes. Those are the ones you haven't seen yet. I think that um, it gets pretty intense. So you've seen that. So you, the audience knows that that um, how much has happened and, and Elena and Stefan's relationship has gotten quite intense. And just as he she, he's finally earned her trust again and they've finally reconnected, she finds out this other element, aside from the fact that she's already accepted that he's a vampire, he's, she's already accepted that his brother is a blood-sucking, psychopathic killer. She's come to terms with all these things. Her best friend's a witch. But now his ex-girlfriend looks exactly like her. And... So it's just like it's just another curveball, and it's gonna be it's gonna be tough to recover from that one. And he's gonna really have to work hard to 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 fix the situation if it can be fixed. Do you see a happy ending in sight for those two? Yeah, I just have to watch and see. <laughs> um, also, um, Elena was in quite a bad way following the car crash. Um, is she gonna be able to pick herself up and dust off? Or I think Elena is a very tough tough girl, and she's very strong. And I admire her for everything that she's gone through and, and with, the, with the death of her parents and the brother and the vampire boyfriend and her best friend being a witch and Vicky going through everything that Vicky goes through. And just, there's so much going on and the fact that she's able to deal with it and, and deal with it with such grace thus far, even though it can be kind of traumatic and crazy at times, I think she can handle anything that comes her way. And if Damon succeeds in his plans, as far as Catherine is concerned, what do you think that would mean for the rest of the cast, the rest of the characters? Oh my God! If if Damon opens that tomb and gets Catherine out, all hell will break loose, literally, because it's it's just. I mean, you saw the audience has seen um, the flashback sequences of Catherine back in the day. She's she's kind of like this narcissistic woman who who uses these boys for what she she's just she's crazy so if she came if she came back it would be it would be pretty intense and and who knows what would happen it would be unpredictable <laughs> do you think elena could take her on i don't know we'll see <laughs> elena can take on a lot but i don't know if she could take on Catherine. i don't know um but i have so much fun doing the flashback scenes with Catherine because i get to put on the corset and the dress and be this whole different person and and that's why i love the role that I get to play, the roles I get to play on this show, I get to be two completely different people that are, that are in terms of personality, are so different and they have polar opposites. So it's a lot of fun. Do you think there's any chance of Elena being turned? We'll have to watch. I can't tell you these things. <laughs> you are just. <laughs> would you like to play a vampire? I do play a vampire as Catherine. True. But as Elena, would you like to? Actually, wait. Do they know that? Yeah, but I don't think you know that yet. Oh, yes, you do. Yeah, okay. I do get to play a vampire. I get to play Catherine. I get to put in the teeth and do the whole thing. And it's it's funny. As soon as you put the teeth and the eyes and, and you, you're in that whole get-up, you just change and you feel almost more animalistic and crazy. And and it's it's cool to play that because it's so different from myself and it's fun. Which is a better role to play? It, they're both different and amazing in different kind of ways, but I, I I think I enjoy playing Catherine more because I don't get to as much. It's kind of like the whole vampire appeal and the whole bad boy appeal. It's because it's forbidden and because it's what you're not supposed to have and you're and it's harder to get and and bad for you that that you like to do it more because it's yeah. And we've seen from recent episodes that the producers aren't afraid to kill off the main characters. Um, should we be worried about anyone else in the show at the moment, do you think? Yes. <laughs> the audience should be worried about every character's well-being because it's up in the air, anything can happen. And it's funny, when we first got the show, we moved to Atlanta. Um, Marco Siega, who's one of the main directors on our show, he, he came up to us and he gave sat us all down. He's like, just so you guys know, you better be on your best behavior. And, um, and, and not only that, but just... Like, don't get too attached because it's not Elena's diaries, it's not Damon's diaries, it's not Vicky's diaries, it's the vampire diaries. So anything can happen and anyone's up in the air to... Uh, but it's also just because they they want to keep the audience on the edge and, and there's there's also, like, a 
like a unpredictable kind of anything can happen. So yeah. How do you think the show would be without Elena? Oh, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, I wouldn't watch it anymore. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, so finally, on that note, how are things on set like without people like Kayla? You know, um, Kayla's still very much in our lives. I, I, she, I live with her. Like okay. she, she was my roommate while we were filming, and and she's so cool and so sweet and so talented. When she did all those episodes with the transformations, and she just, she, I respect her so much as an actress, and I think she's. Uh, she's going to be, she is doing um, films and, and she's got all these projects lined up now, obviously, because she's so wonderful. And, and but we miss her. We miss her so much. But who knows? I mean, it's a supernatural kind of world. Anything can happen. There's a chance she might come back. Anything can happen. <laughs>